A few days ago, I did a plein air painting out of my car and uh, looking at this particular scene. And it was evening light, so it was very beautiful. Although the painting didn't turn out uh, that well, but uh, it's going to be very useful for a bigger painting perhaps because the scene is good and it has got some evening light. So here I just uh, started on a 8 by 10 panel uh, which has been jazzed and uh, primed with uh, primed with gesso and uh, you know tinted with uh, a burnt sienna wash and then uh, I just gave a gave the surface a good wipe and here I'm using a mix of uh, black and uh, burnt sienna to create some sort of a tonal drawing and also the the color of burnt sienna is going to uh, give us a tinted ground and a warm base for the painting so i'm just trying to finish the drawing as soon as possible because uh, evening light doesn't stay there for a very long time so this is around four o'clock in the evening now I just started with cobalt blue and uh, you know titanium white with some uh, variations of uh, color and I am also leaving some uh, some of the you know ground sections a little patchy so that uh, it uh, retains the warmth of uh, the colored ground. Here I've started with the the tree with the warm yellow and black and also some touches of yellow ochre and indicating some of the shapes and this is a push art box that I uh, made at home it uh, isn't that expensive but uh, it serves the purpose for sketching trips like this one and this is a quick sketch that was done almost in half an hour so i could have uh, gone to add more details onto the painting but uh, at this point it's uh, not that necessary because i'm going to i have i've i had already decided at that point that uh, i'm going to make it turn it into a bigger painting here i'm using a modified fan brush to create uh, indicate the lighter sections of the tree and also leaving the darker uh, sections that are inside the tree to create some sort of an interplay between light and uh, shadow and I am also indicating some of the foliage Now when you are doing an evening scene, uh, creating contrast is very important and uh, you had just indicated a very uh, warm uh, trunk and now I am uh, using a very uh, pale color, pale shadow color to create some sort of a rounded uh, you know, shape for that uh, mud heap upon which the tree is situated. So I'm creating an interplay between warm and cool colors and some of the shiny ones uh, due to evening light. And that is the fun of uh, painting an evening scene. Even uh, though the painting isn't that great, it's going to look great because the colors are very nice. And now I've started with the, uh, you know, the bird holes or the the sky holes that uh, most commonly are known and i'm noticed that i'm putting them uh, inside uh, some of the shadows and i'm not going to put them upon the lighter sections of the tree because sky holes appear inside the tree and like a skeletal structure is such that it's like hair and underneath and uh, creating contours and noticing how the shape is turning out to be so this is more or less it and uh, it wasn't that lengthy so this is the shot of the final painting as you can see in a sense in the painting that uh, there is not much detail and not even the leaves have been painted 
the distant trees are just uh, patches of color of warm and cool and so the you know plein air paintings about capturing the mood i thought of uh, you know changing some of the things and adding a little bit more detail then i decided to leave it for the final painting the bigger one and uh, let this one retain uh, this uh, sense of immediacy so if you like this video then uh, please click the like button and also subscribe for future videos and also check out my website www.costumefineart for more paintings take care